Hi guys, I'm Sophie Newton and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, thank you for joining. So today I am going to Italy with mom. Say hello mom. Hello. Um, unfortunately, Simon is unable to come with me, so mom has kindly um, agreed to be my travel buddy for our week long trip in Italy. So we're really excited. Um, we're on our way to Gatwick now and then we are flying to Venice. Marco Polo and then we're in Venice for like two days and then we go to Verona and we're in Verona for two days and then we finish off our trip in a place called Sermione or Sermione in Lake Garda so really really excited but we're in Spoons in Gatwick and we've just had some food and we are waiting for our flight which is at um, 14 at 20 so I'm just having a vodka lime soda to calm my nerves before the flight so we'll check back in when we're in we're in Venice say hi mom hi. mom's wearing a mask Sorry. Um, so we uh, got here like an hour ago we've just been in the room chilling um, we're going to go for something to eat now I've um, got no makeup on because I can't be bothered to put makeup on so we've literally just got here so we're staying in a place called Canareggio I'm not sure how you pronounce that yeah, we're going to find somewhere to eat. just walking around at night and it's so nice and social everybody's sitting outside these little bars drinking and just enjoying the evenings eating pizza look sitting on the side eating pizza so cute so it is about 22 11 and um, it's really overcast today as you can probably see pretty cloudy um, tomorrow's gonna be sunny so today we're going to um, St. Mark's Square we're gonna do um, the Rialto Bridge and the um, where else are we gonna do just everywhere in St. Mark's Square really have a look around there and we're gonna have a gondola ride later um, and hopefully the sun comes out so I'll um, film when we get there just having a little walk we found this really cute little bridge it's got the gondolas. Look at these, they're so cute. And that bridge is nice. We're gonna definitely get a gondola ride later. Casanova, this one, young lady, excuse me. This one. Casanova. Was... So, Casanova. Casanova. Passing for the astrologers, cultural man. But it's more famous because Sandra Brook, Casanova, has a love story with a 2,500 different uh, women. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't know, really. Just a book. 
<laughs> and where is the Doge's Palace? Doge's Palace is uh, somewhere. Yeah. Y hoy, sacado, hoy, ahora que he visto, hoy, ahora yo. Yo no puedo salir, ¿no? Eh, si te piqui la testa sui ponte. You stand up now? It's very dangerous. Too many bridge. Bang your head, Sophie. I'm not standing up. <laughs> I'll just put my head down. Oh, careful. Your head nearly went. No, no, Did it? No. no. Here we are on Rialto Bridge. It's so nice. Look at the views. Gondola rides, and people having lots of wine and pizza and pasta. It's so beautiful. Finally, the sun has come out. We've got Rialto Bridge, all the restaurants. Mum's got a hat on, haven't you, Mum? Hello. Look at the seagull having a dip. We're at St. Martin's Square. Mum's got a fruit salad y thing with ice cream, and I've got a bellini. At St. Mark's Basilica. Oops. At St. Mark's Basilica. Look how nice this is. We're just enjoying some delicious food. Well, I say delicious food. Mum's got that, and I've got crisps and pretzels. So we've got the Palazzo Ducal, and then the St. Mark's Basilisca. I can't pronounce it, but that's the Palazzo Ducal. And then we're gonna make our way over to the Bridge of Sighs. This is St. Mark's Square, it's so nice. We ha just had some fruit and I had a Bellini and some water and it came to 41 euros, so it's really expensive. And I got my pizza! Yay. My mum's got soup. Also, ignore, ignore the straw. I'm going to be taking that with me. They gave it to me, so I'm going to be taking that with me. I'm reusing it. So I got my pizza. Ooh. I'm so excited. And our man's back doing the accordion. Is it accordion? Yeah. Beautiful island of Murano. They make glass here. Mum's got her sticks. We're doing a lot of walking today. It's so pretty. Say hi, Mum. Hi. We've just been to a glass blowing factory. Um, this is where they make Murano glass. It's really, really nice. We got a tour, booked it on TripAdvisor. Um, it was like £18 each, and that includes stop-offs at Burano and Torcello. Entrance to a glass blowing factory, and then we're going to go and see some lace being made later. So it's pretty good. You get all your like, transport. Oh, you don't get the church fees included, uh, the entrance to the church, but I suppose it's not going to be that much money. So we're in Torcello. Um, it's quite small. They said on the boat that it was built before Venice, so it's older than Venice. So I think we're just going to have a little wander, and then maybe we'll go and get some food or something. Currently in Torcello. So beautiful. This reminds me of like a movie set. So lovely. This is a place that's older than Venice. It's absolutely stunning. I recommend that if you do go to Venice, definitely take the tour to go to the small islands like 
Verano, Verano and Torcello. Absolutely stunning. We're in our final stop of Verano, which is famous for its really colourful houses. They're so cute. Venice we're off to we're off to Verona um, I've never been on a train before in, abroad so this is really exciting mm -hmm. it's the first time I've been on a train abroad it's got two floors but we've got our big suitcases so we're only we're on the bottom yeah, floor the even though I really would like to go to the top level just to have a look at like the sights as you go past um, this mask is really annoying me it's so hot everybody Round here is like wearing them like this with their nose out and honestly I can see why it gets so hot here um, so yeah we'll I'll film when we get to Verona hey guys so we're in Verona and it's really really hot and we're just having something to eat we're in Piazza Bra and there's the arena and then you've got an old gate bridge over there okay. So we've got the arena. So we're just in the amphitheater, the arena. It is absolutely boiling. It's crazy to think this is where gladiators would have fought. So we are in Verona still, obviously. And there's loads of shops. So we've seen Louis Vuitton, Gucci, not that we've bought anything. Um, but there's loads of good shops like Mac and Victoria's Secret and things like that. So if you want shopping, you can come here. Oh my god, look, everyone's watching. Come on, Mum. I'm coming as fast as I can. And it's very hot and humid, and look how big my hair is. Hey guys, say hi, hi mum. We are in Fair Verona, where we lay our scene. Uh, we've just come for a drink. Mum's got a Bellini. Mm -hmm. I've got a delicious gin and tonic, and we've just had some delicious nibbles. Um, yeah, we've come for drinks before we go to for dinner, even though we're really not hungry anymore. And this is our dinner setting. I mean, this is our drink setting. So we're just by um, Castle Ve Vecchio, I believe. Is that what it says? Castle Vecchio? Castel Vecchio. So it's super nice that I'll show you. This is like a really nice vibe. How cute the streets are. It kind of feels super romantic, like a film. Look, this is where we're having drinks. So nice. The sun's going down. It just feels like a really chill vibe. There's a guy playing the guitar. Evenings in Verona are so beautiful. We're just making our way back to the Piazza Bra. But everyone's having candlelit dinners. Looks lovely. Mum's drunk off that drink. <laughs> beautiful this is the piazza that's the arena it's so lovely it's so warm and friendly and there's music and mum's drunk <laughs> but it's so lovely it's just such a nice vibe I'm gonna find some food now so guys we've come for dinner and because we filled ourselves up with nibbles and drink we're having half a pizza each. However, some interesting facts for you. In Venice, they aren't allowed wood-fired ovens, pizza ovens, so the pizza is very different. Whereas here, in Verona, thank you so much, got parmesan. Um, whereas here in Verona, they ha are allowed wood-fired ovens, so we've got a pizza each. Is it nice? Mm. Is it good? 
morning guys so it is our um, first full day in Verona um, we came yesterday and we had like half a day and then we're leaving tomorrow to go to Lake Garda we're going to Semione um, which should be really good we're gonna get the train so today we're gonna have a bit of an exploration um, we're going to go to Juliet's balcony um, mum is just penning a letter to Juliet um, you can actually write a letter to, the, they're called the Juliet Club and essentially they receive 50,000 letters each year from um, mostly women uh, writing letters to Juliet for like advice and love um, but you don't need to be a lady, you can be a male and write a letter if you wish and you get advice um, from um, secretaries of Juliet's Club um, who keep the romance and the story alive and they actually will write back to you so mum's writing a letter currently um, and we're gonna drop it off at the balcony so it's really cool if anybody's interested google the Juliet Club it's all voluntary and you can actually um, volunteer to become a secretary of Juliet's Club which is really cool um, so we're gonna do that then we're gonna go on a little train ride because um, mum has walked so much her legs are really hurting so we're gonna get a little train ride that takes you all around um, you go past the cathedral and Piazza Erbe and um, other places that I forget I can't re recall the map um, and then I am mum's gonna come home and have a little rest um, come back to the hotel sorry and I'm gonna go to Castel Vecchio um, so I'll hopefully do some filming there um, so I wait if you watch this vlog um, we obviously as I'm with my mum and she has mobility issues um, we haven't really explored as much as maybe I would have done with Simon um, but it's been very chilled we've eaten lots of yummy food and um, yeah it's all been good say hi mum Hi. Mum's just written a letter to Juliet. Did you write it? <laughs> Mum's penned a Mum's penned a book. Juliet's balcony. No, don't touch. No, don't touch. Don't touch. No. No, no se può toccare la stat, signora. No. on the balcony. Oh, that's so nice. You want to look around? This is a present. Oh, thank you. That's so sweet. Thank you. Look, that's me. So we're just on a train tour in Verona. It's like a kids' train, but it's really fun. It's five euros each, and it takes you around the site. Shakespeare, a monument funéraire de la famille Gavi. The cathedral, 
Duomo Oh Un piccolo Vaticano nel cuore di Verona Siamo vicini al Vescovado e allo spettacolare Duomo Medievale che ci apparirà di fronte The Vatican of Like a small Vatican in the heart of Verona We are now close to the spectacular medieval cathedral Inside Castle Vecchio, there's a museum inside which I've just been into with loads of old artifacts and swords, paintings, sculptures. It's really, really interesting. It's only six euros each. Definitely worth it for the history. You can get an audio guide for four euros, but I just walked around in my own time. It's our final night in Verona. I'm really sad because it's been really fun. It's so hot. It is, let me check the time, 20 to 8. And we are, mum's on FaceTime with Harry. Um, we are having a drink in, we're at Hotel Milano, um, the rooftop bar, which is really, really nice. I would recommend definitely for anybody that wants a really good view. It's so nice, the sun's going down, it's Friday night, you got amazing views of the arena. So I guess if there's a concert on, it would be amazing because you'd be able to hear everything and have like a prime seat. Got amazing views of the churches. Hi guys, so we are on a bus to uh, Sermione. So we left Verona like 10 minutes ago. So yeah, the bus cost um, less than four euros. We're in Sermione in Lake Garda. It's our final stop. And we're staying in an apartment. And look, literally you come out of the apartment and you're greeted by this. Amazing. It's so beautiful. You can see the lake over there. And then we've got a lovely square here. It's so nice. We literally got here like an hour ago. We got a bus, it was pretty hectic, it was very full, and then they dropped us off. Like in. Oh, look, there's fish in there, Mom, look! Fishies! Yeah, the bus like dropped us off where it wasn't supposed to, so we had to get another bus and it was crazy, it was really hot, but we're here now. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at the views. Views on views on views on views. Lake Garda, Sermione. Absolutely be coming back here, 100%. It's beautiful. Just got some fresh lemonade. There you go, Mum. Here's yours. Do you want to try it and tell me what you think? Mm. Wonderful. And we're going to go and get a tour later. It's every um, half an hour, 25 minutes, and it takes you all around. And it's 10 euros each. But we don't get senior citizens discount, do we? boat trip it cost 10 euros each which I think is quite good there's the thermal spa and that's Maria Callas' villa or one of them
It is our first night in Sermione and we're going out for dinner. Mm. It's, what time is it, Mum? It's 8, it's 9.08. Mm. It's quite late for us to have right. dinner because Mum goes to bed at like 9 o'clock. Yeah, but we're having dinner, we're getting pizza and <laughs> pasta. Sermione is amazing, it's so nice. The weather's dropped a little bit, it's a bit windy. Um, it's good, there's a storm coming, but it's fun. It's really busy here um, and quite expensive, but we are enjoying it thus far. Went on a boat trip earlier, which is really fun. And tomorrow we're gonna go to the um, Roman ruins and then maybe I'll do some kayaking, weather dependent. And also we're looking at the thermal spa. Maybe. 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 It's our final day. I'm sweating. It's a bit cloudy today, but it's kind of nice because it's been so hot. We eating leftover pizza from yesterday's. Um, yesterday's dinner. This is what you do in Italy. Just eating carbs and Italian food. Anyway, we are, I wanted to get a kayak, but and it's 10 euros for a single kayak for an hour, which is quite good, but it's a bit choppy out on the water. And mum's a bit worried that I might end up God knows where on my own. So I may forego the idea, which I'm a bit sad about, but never mind. I've done so much already. And yeah, there's, um, I haven't really got any plans today. Just gonna have a bit of a wander. Might go to that Roman, there's the Roman ruins later. Maybe wander over there. But for now, we're just chilling, enjoying our last day. We're trying to feed the little birdies some food, but they've gone. There were so many little birdies and they've gone. Just looking at this dark cloud, there's definitely going to be a storm. It's so hot still. We're leaving tomorrow and it's a shame because we've had a proper like chill day at the beach today. I did a bit of kayaking. Oh, I actually did do the kayak. But um, this is where you would take a boat to like the other places on Lake Garda, which is a shame because we're going tomorrow. So if we'd had another day, definitely would have gone to like other towns in Lake Garda. It's our final <coughs> night and we are having some drinks and we're right by the castle. Oopsie, can't see. It's been absolutely tipping it down. The sky is still really dark and foreboding. But we're having some drinks and we're gonna go for dinner and it's our final night, but let's just enjoy the view before we're back to rainy old England. 